He begged the officer to just please let him go and they will both forget this incident ever happened. Paul said to the officer we can shake hands and you can just drop me back to my cell and I won't tell anyone about this I promise. Paul told the officer he is getting his punishment by being in prison. This is more than enough punishment but the officer told Paul that prison alone is not enough punishment. You also need to be punished in other ways while you are serving your time to actually learn your lesson. In the officer's other hand he had Paul's bank card. He got it from Paul's property when Paul first came into the prison. The officer then told Paul if you want to do the right thing pay back all the money you stole. Pay it all back today. Just give my mother her money back and also give the money back to all the other people you stole money from. That is my deal. Just give the money back and all will be forgiven. Paul then told the officer he was broke and had nothing left. The officer didn't believe him and took out his phone and dialed Paul's bank to check his account balance. The officer asked for Paul's password on his account and that's when Paul said to the officer I don't have any money in my bank account I'm broke and I'm also not logging into my bank account to check anything so do your worst and I'm glad I stole your mother's money. The old bag was stupid enough to give it to me so she deserves to lose it all. The officer started laughing and said I thought, you would say something like that and that's when he got up off the chair and started walking towards Paul but as the officer was walking over to him, Paul could see the officer's tings which was hard as a rock. Paul shouted get away from me as the officer walked closer and closer until the officer got behind Paul putting his knees on the floor and grabbing Paul by the sides of his waist. Paul started shouting saying what are you doing? Get away from me, leave me alone. In a last second attempt Paul shouted please ok officer ok please I will log into my bank account so you can check my bank balance. The officer laughed and said it's too late woman and that's when the officer slammed his tings inside of Paul. Paul screamed for his life. The one thing Paul was dreading before coming to prison was now happening. Paul always dreaded being turned out in prison. The officer started to clap Paul's cheeks. Paul was still handcuffed in a cell block with no one around to help him so he had no way to escape. The officer started to laugh as he continued to clap Paul's cheeks. He continued to clap Paul's cheeks for a further 20 minutes until he busted a massive load of cream pie inside of Paul. He then pulled his tings out of Paul and walked over to the chair and sat back down on his seat with a massive smile on his face. The officer was sweating like he just ran two marathons and said to Paul baby that was sweet, you are my new girlfriend. Let me get my breath back and we will go for round two in a minute. Paul had never felt pain like this before in his life. He was very sore from the pounding the officer gave him. He was crying with sticky cream pie dripping out of him saying please officer no. Don't do it again. Please just leave me alone. Paul was confused because prison officers were not meant to be clapping inmates' cheeks. He thought to himself how has this happened. Paul was traumatized by what he just experienced so as the officer got off his chair to walk over to him for round two Paul said please don't do it again I'm still sore I'm still in pain so the officer stopped and picked up his phone and said are you ready to take this call now with a big fat smile on his face. That's when Paul said yes I am ready to take the call just please don't clap my cheeks again. 
After Paul was sentenced to 10 years in prison the judge went easy on him and he was only ordered to pay back a small portion of the money back to the victims as compensation. The judge also told Paul if he pays all the money back to the victims he will knock five years off his sentence. While the judge was saying this Paul began to smile. The prison officer knew Paul was a weasel and wasn't going to pay back anything. He knew Paul would just do his full prison sentence just so he could keep the money so the officer came up with his own plan to get his mum's money back. Once the prison officer called Paul's bank Paul told him his password and that's when the prison guard was shocked because Paul had 10 million in his account. The officer said to Paul, you are going to give back all of my mother's money as well as your own mother's money. I also have a list of other people that you stole money from and you will also pay all of them back too. We are going to call everyone otherwise we are going to go for round two and then round three will be with my broomstick on the floor. Paul looked at the broomstick and didn't want that going inside of him because something like that will rearrange his entire insides so he agreed to just give back the money to the list of victims the prison officer had. The officer didn't have a list of all the victims but at least he could help some of the victims who had been scammed by Paul.